Hello and welcome. Today we are making another EHK skill spamming tutorial. But unlike the previous one, this will include a skill chain command that will help us use multiple skill by just holding down one key. Also, I would like to mention that this will only work well if you have enough attack speed and you reduce your cast time to zero. Before we start, I would like to show you the gears that I am using in this video. For the headgear, we have Old Magic Stone Hat with Magic Essence Level 5. The card in this is Plaga Card, that increases the damage of neutral magic attacks. For mid headgear, I have a Cardui Ear that increases magic attack depending on our decks, and also reduces the cooldown of Comet if paired together with the Laffine Shield. My lower headgear is the Fortune Telling Sealed. This not only increases our overall magic damage to all sizes, but also increases our attack speed which is important for spamming. My armor here is the four of a kind. Best armor for Warlock as of now, currently not refined because reaching plus 12 at this moment is more expensive than the armor itself. This has a sweet nightmare card to negate the interruption of skill casting when hit. The weapon is a plus 12 Deus Ex Machina with Veritas, Red Pitaya, and Magic Poison Plaga cards. Very important to refine this weapon as high as possible because this has a bonus effect per refinement level. The shield is Lafine Shield, which is paired with the Cardui Ear to reduce the cooldown of Comet to zero. For the garment, we have a plus 12 Fairy of Eden with Purple Pitaya card. Again, important to increase the refinement as high as possible to get the bonus stats of the gear and card. My shoes here is a plus 12 Moaning Evil Spirit with Research Assistant Bot card. This also increases attack speed and pierces magic defense of all targets. The card used in this shoe is just a requirement for the Roaming Spellbook card set. For the accessories, I have two Gefenia Ice Magic Tools with Roaming Spellbook cards. Highly recommend to get two of these to reduce a lot of aftercast delay and reduce the SP consumption of Comet to one. The card here increases the damage of Comet. For costumes, my top costume is not enchanted. The middle costume is enchanted with Warlock Middle Stone to reduce the total fixed casting time. Lower costume is enchanted with Soul Linker Lower Stone, nothing special here. But when paired with Soul Reaper Garment Stone, it reduced total fixed cast time. My shadow gears here are the Reload Set and Centering Set with Concentration Weapon. Next, before we start, I will show you the key designation of my skills. Now with that shown, we will now begin the skill showcase. First, I will show you how it will look without the AHK.
disastrous in my opinion. Now I will show you the hotkey. To activate this AHK file, we run it as administrator. We now test it. So satisfying to see all those magic effects without tiring our fingers. This can be done better if I have higher attack speed, but this is already good enough for me. Now let us see what is inside this AHK file. First, let us exit this active AHK file. The first part of this AHK file tells the macro to only run if the active window is Ragnarok. This part of the script designates what key is going to be used as a hotkey. In this case, it is A. Next line of the script identifies the state of the hotkey. The P here stands for press, therefore this line is read as while A is pressed. Then the next line will tell the computer what to do if the hotkey is pressed. This line is read as AHK will press down A. Then after a very short interval, AHK will release A. Then after another very short interval, AHK will send a mouse left click. Then return to separate it from the next command. That's it for the first hotkey. The second part of this EHK file is also the same. I just changed the A key to W key. Now this last part looks a little more complicated, but trust me, it's not that hard to do once you understand how it works. First part of this script designates the hotkey. In this case, V is designated. Next line identifies the state of the hotkey. The next lines will trigger if the state of the hotkey is active. Take note that V is also our skill key for Crystal Rain, which is a skill that requires no mouse click. That is why there is no mouse click here before the next skill key. After a very short interval, the next skill key will be pressed. And since B is our skill key for Floral Flare Road, we have a mouse click here. Then the skill keys will follow.
Again, return here separates this command to the next command. The last scripts here are two short commands. F9 reloads the AHK and pause suspends it. Reload here is used if you want to change any of the keys form the script. Suspend on the other hand works like pausing and resuming the script in case you are chatting in game. If you want a copy of this script, I will paste it in the video description. Again, to activate this file, we run it as administrator. And in case you want to close the script, you navigate to the bottom right corner of your screen and find the AHK icon. Right-click it and choose Exit. Let's take a look at how it works again. quite helpful if you want to lock any enemies that might come close to you in case they don't die in one or two hits. Now I will show you how I make an AHK file In your desired location, right-click anywhere and choose to create a new text document. Rename it according to its function. Next, we will enter the script in this new text document. And since we already have a template, we will just copy and paste the script. Control S for save. Next, change its file type from TXT to AHK. If the icon of your file changed to something like this, you are successful. Now, in case the file extension does not appear after the file name, you will need to check your folder settings. On the top part of your folder, you will see the View tab. Click it and check the file name extensions. To test the file, we run it as administrator. We can tell it's running if the icon is seen at the bottom right corner of your screen. That's it for this tutorial. If you find this helpful, consider giving it a like because it will make this video reach more audiences. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe as it gives me the motivation to make more of these videos. Anyway, with that said, thank you for watching. Let's make Ragnarok great again.